Hi everyone, welcome back. So I just wanted to come on and discuss with you what happened with my 12 days of Craftmas. So first thing is I did not record all of the things I created because I told you I wasn't feeling well. And as if you noticed, if you watched some of my videos previously, you could probably tell the nasally or congestion that I had in my voice and I was just not up to it. My mind was up to it, but the body was not having it at all. So I do want to go over the things that I had planned on making with you all or sharing with you all. Um, so I'm just going to share with you all. I had always, and all these actually are fails in my opinion, are things that need to be improved. Again, all of these are my first time attempts. Um, well, most of them are my first time attempts. So... They didn't turn out too great in my opinion, and I think just because I was trying to rush and make them, um, they didn't turn out as well as when you take your time. In my opinion, when you take your time, your product is just a lot better. So the first thing I'm going to show you, and I have been watching so many videos on how to make cupcake liner rosettes. So the, ro the cupcakes that I have, these came from Walmart. And I got them this year, I believe, or either last year, but I think it was this year. And, you know, you get 50 pieces for, seven, excuse me, for 74 cents. And this is how they look out of the wrapper, and this is how it looks. So, I did this with my rosette. I put one of those poinsettias that I showed you guys on another, in the, the uh, embossed cards that I showed you. And then this is the other side. And if you can see... This is the piece that I cut off to actually kind of have it connect. And I personally don't think that it's the greatest, but it's just not up to par in my opinion. It just does not look well, and especially right here. Not only that, I feel that what I wanted to do is probably put two so it'll be a double-sided rosette or a button here or something like that. But all of this white area needs to be covered and then I was thinking silly um maybe you only need to do one worry about one side so other than that I guess it's an okay piece of craft for the first time so um that's the first thing the second thing that I have for you all and I did not show you this I had got some dies from eBay and I wanted to make felt teddy bears and I'll tell you how sick I am. I made these that I'm going to show you and then I misplaced the die. So I used this felt from the Dollar Tree and if you're going to use felt from the Dollar Tree I would recommend using it on projects that you know won't will not tear up. If you stretch this really well just one good pull it'll tear a piece like tissue. So I also went to Walmart and got some uh, a little better quality felt. I also went to Joanne Fabric to look for some felt, but then I just got disappointed in the selection and Joanne and the customer service, so I just said, let's not even spend money in this store. So, I did get this really, really cute die from, excuse the noise, from eBay. And as you can tell, his little arm tore apart when he came out of the die machine. So he didn't come out so well. But this one did. And I do plan on using these in a later project. Since I didn't get a chance to do my 12 days of craftmas with you all. So I do plan on making some videos. Just not for craftmas, I guess you could say. And his face tore. So that's another one that didn't turn out too well. Overall, these came out fairly well. And what I was going to do is I was going to take some embossing excuse me, embroidery thread and just stitch around the edges of this onto some more felt or either fabric and make like a little drawstring bag. And I probably still would do that, just not with this felt um, because it's so flimsy. So what I will do with this felt, these, these that I have, is probably just get some glue, some of this tacky glue right here that I got for a dollar from the Dollar Tree and um, put it on some paper or either some felt 
and just in reinforce it either that bonding glue that a lot of people use when they're using fabric so that's another project that I did not complete or I got discouraged also I did these and I cannot find this die either either so the dies that I used to make these projects I have just totally misplaced them so as you all know I've been talking about making paper flowers for a while so I got this die from eBay as well all these dies I'm showing you right now came from eBay and it's just a die that you cut out and I've been molding it and molding it and molding it and molding it and then it kind of turns out okay but what I planned on doing was making some of these and putting it on some paper and including it with the teacher appreciation um, bouquet that didn't work and I wanted to just take some stickles or either some other art glitter glue not art glitter glue some glitter glue like this right here and um, uh -oh. rub it on here run it on here and just make a few bedazzled I guess you could say flowers that did not happen also I got this creepy in a good way owl um, he just looks like he's watching you at all times I got that one and I do plan on doing something with this once I find a die and um, these ornaments that I had got I was going to uh, do something work related with these and they did not these dies are definitely not what I thought they were going to be once I cut them out but they I like now this is the die again I don't know where I put the actual die but this is the thing that comes out of the die when you cut it out so this came out of the circle die I'm going to use this actually because I really think that that's um, nice you can put this on some paper or you know your paper project and it would be great so that's another project that I did not um, complete or I attempted it and it didn't go well for me in my head a lot of my projects are much better in my head than once I actually complete them. Um, I do need to stop being so hard on myself when I do make my projects. So I have um, another project that I want to share with you all that um, I actually think it came out great. It's a crochet hat. It's a beanie. And this is a Red Heart pattern. It's free. You can go to redheart.com, I believe, or Cloaks and Clark. Clark. And look it up so this is just a little beanie that I made and this is adult beanie but I'm gonna use it on my little roommate and it was just one skein of Barnett yarn that I used and I got the yarn from the clearance section of Michaels and as you can see right here without even making it it's a little uh, divot because I didn't have enough yarn for this because this pro this yarn is chunky yarn and the project actually calls for uh, for medium not chunky so it fits perfectly once I stretch it down which I love and all the colors in my opinion they're loud and crazy but they definitely fit with my little roommate's personality and because he's a child I think this is very cute I'm going to make a scarf to go along with it so that is one of the projects that I actually did complete and it turned out great um, then the next one I have to make some pocket letters and I was going to show you the process that I did for pocket letters this paper came from the Michaels uh, hot by paper pack and I don't remember which one but I love this this color these colors are so pretty and um, you guys haven't seen me make a pocket letter except for the one that I did when I gave it to Kathy we did the um, happy mail exchange so what I did with all of them, which I guess is my signature, is stamp this whole back. I usually just stamp the whole back because I haven't figured out how to cut just the triangle, the um, rectangles to put inside of the sleeves yet. And as you can see, this recollection stamp failed me miserably. It did the edges, but not the inside. And I'm quite sure it's because I didn't, I was not stamping properly. I blame all of the mishaps on operator. So it did not come out to my liking. So what I'll probably end up doing is just cutting these and doing something else with it. So I just want to share with you all that I did actually do work on my 
um, 12 Days of Craftmas. I just did not feel well enough to videotape or record everything like I should have. Um, so anyway, that's all I have for now. I'm going to come back and share with you some projects that I have and just some future plans that I plan on doing with the channel. So thank you for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Um, I hope your week is starting off great, your month is going well, and your year is what you planned it to be. And if not, I hope you're planning a good 2017. Thank you for watching and supporting me. Happy crafting.